Greetings, Johannesburg, from my laptop webcam in my flat, Nathaniel Stern here. I am sorry I could not join you for the media launch this morning, but the time difference here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin is a bit prohibitive. I'm extremely excited about participating as the featured artist at the Turbine Art Fair. For those of you unfamiliar with the particular body of work that I'm including, I strap a desktop scanner, um, computing device, custom battery pack to my body, and perform images into existence. I might scan in straight long lines across tables, tie the scanner around my neck and swing over flowers, do pogo-like gestures over bricks, or just follow the wind over water lilies in a pond. Although this started as experimental work, I found that the prints I wound up with, they, they came out just gorgeous. They, they, they present a series of zones and zigzags, vertical bands of imagery that amplify the movements between adjacent times and spaces. The works seem only abstract at first, but on inspection we're able to discern in each band details such as aphids, flower petals, plastic bags, the sky, and more. These prints are extremely high resolution and potent precisely because of how they fold the four dimensions of time space, my movements in the landscape and the movements of the scanner beam over time into a confined 2D plane and frame. I've been making this kind of work for nearly a decade. Uh, it began in Johannesburg, but has also been produced in several US states and across a handful of countries in Europe. Um, but for the fair, I'm taking it to new depths, literally. I've been working with a team of metalsmiths, engineers, ceramicists, designers, and 3D printers for the last eight months on developing and producing a sub-aqueous scanner rig. One week after I record this video I am speaking from, hi there, I'll be on a flight gearing up to scuba dive on a coral reef with my scanner ready to perform images of water and land, life and non-life. Admittedly, it has been quite a ride designing such a system, depending on how you count them, either on version 3 or version 8 of my box. I have been called crazy by many, including myself and my family, but I believe these images will do things and express things and provoke thinking and feeling and movement that go beyond what I could have imagined when I began producing the work. And for me, those are the stakes. The best of art frames and amplifies who and how we are in and with the world, and more importantly, how we could be. This work may present to us something new about ourselves and our activities. I'll see you in July.